All right, gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit and run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site. The coroner's on his way. Get down there, see if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. He was in the bathtub. And he'd taken one of his fingers. He got this gadget whiz putting recording devices into the place for him. All right, welcome back, everybody, to, I believe this is part four. Um, well, the next case, shall I say. Uh, a Marriage Made in Heaven, which already seems like uh, a great start to it. But we're just going to jump right into it and uh, see what's going on. Seems like we got a new car here, a little four-door, nice. Nice, nice, moving on up in the world. This was, this was the last car that we drove. I just wasn't paying attention. All right, let's go. Looks like the DA is going to press charges. Anna Rodriguez might do time. I'll speak to the DA. She suffered enough. Mm, I don't know, Cole. She's an easy make, and the DA likes convictions. I'll convince him to let it go. How do you do that? I'll give him something better. Oops. Watch it! I was looking at. I'm sorry. I was looking at the mini map. Why don't you be a good navigator and help a brother out? God. Leash. <laughs> He's so touchy. All right. Looks like we've got a body on the ground. From what we saw, it was a hit and run beforehand. So let's see what we got here. Let's see. Detectives, over here. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. Yes, sir. Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? I think it's a white male named Lester Patterson. Walked out of the bar and into huh. the street. Car hit over there, and he ended up here. Dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar, named Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road. Is that so? We'll, we'll take well, a full well. statement later. Right now we're gonna take a look around. Yeah, we'll talk to her in a minute. All right. Let's Phelps? see what we have. Knocked his hat right off his body. head. Poor guy didn't stand a chance. It's uh, evidence, but really nothing to... Let's take a look at the body here. What was that? Okay, that was the body. It did the little ding ding. Ended on his face and ended up here. Wow, corner. I must have struck Actually, him from behind. It. Let's see. Let's check his pockets first. Uh, let's see what we have here. Fire and life insurance. What the fuck? So a $16,000 life insurance, seems like. Patterson has life insurance. Hmm. Well, well. Looks like somebody will be collecting a pretty penny. 16 G's back in those days was pretty decent, you know? Not too bad. Lester Pat Patterson. He said Patterson. I notify next of kin. I did notice that. He said Patterson, and it's at actually Pat Patterson. Gotta love him. Gotta love him. All right. Uh, date of birth is April 2nd, 1910. Wow. Brown hair, brown eyes. Weighs about 170 pounds, so he's a little dude. Let's see, we got some cashola in the pocket here, like two dollars or something. Didn't cash in that 16 G's yet. Somebody will be. Shit. Let's see. Let's check the wrist. Let's check the hand for wedding ring. Some substantial marks here. Wow. Check the other hand here. Sorry if I've been yelling at you. I this like I said, this game is very loud to me, so um, I uh, do apologize for that. Oh, you can hear the rigor trying to set as I'm moving the body. Oh, all right. So there's.
there's nothing else to look at. Yeah. What have you got on the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. Mm. What about the chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Those things are killers. Well, well. Well, well. Careful where you step in, Phelps. I don't come down to the station house and tap dance on your desk. Body oh. traveled a good 20 feet. Car was booking it, man. Wow. That's a hell of a space for the body to travel. Or distance, shall I say. That's point of impact right there. This blood is a long way from the body. Car must have been going like a bat out of hell. Wow. That's why I enjoy this stuff. I grew up watching like CSI and all that stuff. Yeah, look at that. At so least the driver managed to stop. break before the impact. Hmm. So it wasn't out of passion. Definitely caught him off track. Okay. Those are all the markers found. Let's see. He's all yours, detective. Let's see. Let's see. Let's check this. Why is there light over here? Oh, look what we got. Look what we've got. A knife covered in blood. Looky, looky. Could be a steak knife. This is a hit and run case, Phelps. Anyone could have thrown away a kitchen knife. In any case, we'll want tech services to scrub the alleyway before they bag the knife. Yeah, man. Uh, just, just a caution, Leia. Let's talk to the broad, see what, what happens here. Miss Perry? Yes? I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. Eyewitness report. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Stoic, statuesque, look, see? Uh, she's telling the truth, okay. I mean, it makes sense. There's a ruckus going on outside your apartment. You're going to want to see what's going on. Especially when you live above happened? a bar. I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. I lived, I lived above a pub, or across the street from a pub in England. And, man, I tell you what, I saw some of the funniest shit I could ever see in my life when that pub closed. There was some of the dumbest fucking people pouring out of that place. It was hilarious. Uh, suspect vehicle description. Do you have a, a description of the vehicle, ma'am? What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. Well, that was specific, oddly. But she's still statuesque. And, and I don't even know if I'm using that word properly, but it's all good. It works anyway. Um... And very, like, right there. See, she's looking us in the eyes. She's got nice eyes, too. I'm, I'm going to go with the truth. You tell the truth, girl. Yeah. Did you see the license nice. plate? I got that right. Only cool. the first three letters, I'm afraid. Three C8. Three C8. Okay, keep that in mind. Argument overheard. Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. She looked away. She looked away. There was one thing I remember, you know, and she keeps looking away now. You know, before when she was telling the truth, she was stoic. She was very, like, keeping eye contact. Now she's looking all around. Um, I don't have any evidence that she knows anything, but I'm going to lean on her anyway just to see what happens. Why are you nice. holding out on us, Mr. Perry? Cool. I'm sorry. I was <laughs> hoping to tell my story to the newspapers. I'd like to get my picture in the paper. I'm trying to find work as an actress, and things are pretty difficult. Oh, my Cough lord. Cough it up, sister. We don't have all night. Oh, my lord. People arguing? They were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Very embarrassing for the man. Oh, okay. That he's got a small dinghy. Thank you, Miss Perry. Your information no. has been very helpful. You can go now. You really think so? I hope you find that driver and put him away. 
See, like I said, it's very, they give it blatant. Certainly got away with the dames, Phelps, you know. As long as you remember what you've picked up and what you've asked them. Let's see what the patrons yeah. have to say. It's, it's I'll take the bartender. You work the rest of the room. Let's see what the bartender has to say. Bartender. I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Your name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. So Hired deadly. Help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna, Mrs. Patterson, home. Hmm. Perhaps one of the arguers. Hit and run incident. Let's see what he says about it. What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. Yeah, he doesn't look like he's telling the truth. Come on, man. Stop looking away. But what I was saying earlier before I answer this one um, is I learned something watching CSI you learn some things when you watch television believe it or not um, and is and it's and you notice you'll notice that it actually works in this game um, when somebody's thinking they look up and to the right when they're tell they're not telling the truth they'll look down and to the left that's kind of the thing you know when they're it, it, it's body language um, so as you can see when we caught her kind of withholding information earlier we, you know, it was because she was looking down and to the left. And this guy keeps kind of shifty eye. He's not looking down, but he still looks to the left and can't look us in the eye. And no offense, all that. fellas, but yep. having cops hang around ain't exactly good for business. Yeah, okay, fuck you. I'm going to lean on you anyway. Because you know something. So what was he doing outside? Nice, we got it it's right. against cool. licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. That's true. Yeah. We're having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. Lester and Lorna. Okay. Association with victim. How do you know him? Do you know the victim? Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. Okay. See, now his eyes aren't all over the place. He's not fidgety. He's looking straight at me. He's not moving. So, he's obviously telling the truth. So, I'll, I'll give it to him on that one. Not one nice. of your favorite customers? That little... Lester was Music special, but great. not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. Argument overheard in bar, so... He's got to know something about the argument. A witness overheard an argument. <laughs> Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? What else? Okay, move on. Let's lean on him and see if he can move on. You know, tell us more of the story. Um, Why was Lorna nice. Patterson in such a hurry to leave? What is yeah, going that's the on suspicious here? thing. Lorna was pretty upset, so Leroy took her home. Your husband Lorna and Leroy are close. They've been talking about opening a new bar. Leroy. Leroy Sabo, the owner. Hmm. <laughs> I see. All right, all right. A joint business venture. Let's see. How long have Lorna and Leroy been talking about this new bar? Uh, who knows? I just served the drinks. Looking away. Smirk on his face. Come on, man. You won't know all that, but you don't know how long they've been talking. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, buddy. I ain't stupid. I ain't stupid. Let's see. Bartenders nice. hear all sorts of things. Are you going to tell me, or do we have to start playing rough? When Lester was drinking, he treated Lorna like dirt. He gambled away all their money. Lorna pitched Leroy yeah, about the see? bar. I don't know how interested he is. You knew. Is Leroy doing well? <laughs> Hell no. The only thing keeping this place afloat are the poker games. Huh. Thanks for your help, Lynch. I'm going to need you to sign a statement with the patrolman. Yep. Sure, no problem. We'll come back later you for the get anything out games. of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. Wait, 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 wait. There's a phone in here? Yeah, let's use the phone in here. Screw you, dog. I'm gonna give a shit about your clientele. Operator, message for KGPL. 
through now. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. Why does that say like that? How could I help, detective? I need to run a partial license plate, 3 Charles 8. Cross-check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, detective. Only one possible make on that license. I Registry call bullshit. William Shelton, 738 West Temple Street. Thanks, ma'am. I call bullshit. Looks like we caught a break on this one. Uh, they wouldn't have been able to get that information that quickly. Why are you looking at all these homies when you're walking by, man? We... You want to go back? No, nah, we won't go back. All right. Let's make sure I didn't miss anything here. I got that. I got the blood. Just what I think. I I've got seen that blood. I got the body. The hat is nothing. They added the knife. Let's see. Let's see if we're looking for anything. Don't think this is anything. Let's see. I feel like we're missing something else here. Keep looking at something over here. Spark plug? Doesn't give me anything to go on. No. Hmm. What are we looking at over here? What? What? Did we not? Is there something we're missing on the body? this. Saw that. Nothing on the wrists. Nope. I'm not feeling a vibration or anything. That's weird. Awkward. Hmm. Alright. There is something we're missing here. Nope, 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 nope. This is not gold, so... Hmm. We saw that. Yep, we saw that. Let's see if he's got anything. Okay. Where is okay? Ah no! No, get off! Okay. Let's see what he has to say. Advice? We've got to track down that Lincoln Phelps. We find the car, and then we nail the driver. Okay. Where's our car? I think I've seen it all. Uh oh, it's right there. Let's go to... No, he's right, he's right. Let's go, let's go to the, the owner of the vehicle's house first. This house is right here. Oh, nice little place. Look at the jacked up car in front of me. Wow. That coward thinks he oh, can do Oh, oh my god. I accidentally hit X and skipped everything. Ah, oh, that's so terrible. I'm sorry, everybody. Oh, whoa. This thing's got better st stopping than I thought. Okay. It's that e-brake, that's why. It's the, like, the slowest car chase I have ever been a part of. This guy is terrible. Enough games, folks. Take this guy out. No wonder he killed someone driving like this. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't let 
let that asshole get away. Come on. Okay, so basically while we're doing this, what we missed was um, we rolled up to homie's house and as we were doing so, All right, I give up. he uh, got into his That's car and dipped out. Cuff him and we're done. Hands behind your head. What an How does a vehicular idiot. manslaughter rap sound, Sheldon? I hit him. I admit it. I just panicked, but it wasn't my fault. What do you mean? The guy jumped right out in front of me. He came out of nowhere. There's nothing I could do about it. Why didn't you stop? I've had accidents before. That's well. it. We're done here. The DA is going to love you. They weren't all my fault. I'm a surveyor. I need my license for my job. There were people around. A woman yeah. and a man were standing right next to him. I thought they could get him to a hospital. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. The guy is dead, Sheldon. You can't yeah. be serious. William Sheldon, you're coming downtown. We need to talk about a manslaughter charge. I don't know, man. Leave the coroner and the paperwork. Procedure can wait. We should probably go speak to the wife and let her know what's happening. Okay. It's not even that, though. It's the wound on the chest and the bloody knife we found. That is... Whoops. Wrong button. That is what is obviously bothering me. Um, or not obviously, but honestly bothering me. Well, here we are. Fifty-four in the morning. My God. Hello. Yes. Hello. Mrs. Patterson. Is this about my husband? We're investigating the incident, ma'am. I see. Come in, won't you? Can you tell me what happened? What's to tell? He got hit by a car and now he's dead. You don't appear to be too upset about the fact. Yeah, you seem... Lester and I met on a furlough in 44. We got married that weekend. People don't understand it now, but that happened a lot back then. I see. Okay. So you probably did well to stick it out this long. What's that supposed to mean, mister? I think it's about time you left. I have someone here I beg I... your pardon? You're gonna have to run that one by us again, sister. Hey, yeah, your husband just died. It's you okay, got Lorna. somebody here. You got a dude here. I'm leaving uh, my sabo. Uh, well, well. Nice to see you're comforting the grieving widow, Mr. I see, sabo. I see. All right, wise guy. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? Yeah, you your can mother. Confirm Mrs. Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. He turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car. Mm -hmm. It wasn't good. What about the bloody knife? What's your knife? relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? We're friends. Good friends. Oh, shit. You expect me to believe that? Look, I was filing for divorce. Mental cruelty. Lester could be a mean son of a bitch. And Lester knew about that? No. I hadn't told him. Mm -hmm. Well, hasn't this worked out well for the two of you? Yeah. I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. Let's dive deeper into this. I, I think I know what's going on here. I mean, come on. You gotta be a fucking idiot to not, not to put this all together. One and one makes two, not one and one makes four, okay? So just pay attention to that, alright? Let's do this. How did the car come to hit Lester? He walked straight into the path of an oncoming car. You wanna try saying that? Not... You, you, yeah. Can you talk to me and not uh, the guy over to your... Okay, sure. Bullshit. You expect me to believe that, Lorna. It's all very convenient. Gambling for Lester was like the needle for a hophead. He was yelling at me. He was yelling at the whole world. I kind of felt sorry for the driver. Poor guy had no chance. Wow. Wow. So what were you arguing about there, toots? You were arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk. We were mm -hmm. always arguing. So what? Yep, look away, look up. Look, see, up and... Yep. Bullshit. Oh! Gonna need more I hit that. the wrong button again. Like I said, Lester was a great guy when he was winning. 
A really sunny, bright guy. Trouble was, he hardly ever won. And when he lost, he was an evil son of a bitch. Sore loser. I hit the wrong button on that one. That was my fault. The bartender said that you and Leroy were planning to go into business together. Fat fingered it. Can you explain how you'll get the money to do that? I have a little money saved away. Bullshit. Look at that. Look at that. Look, I, I ain't gonna hit the wrong button now. That's bullshit. That's a lie. That's a lie. Why do I say it? it's a lie? Remember. Insurance policy in the pocket. Bullshit. She, she didn't know about that. Come on, play it. I'm, I'm gonna call her out on it. You're being economical with the truth, Lord. <laughs> You want to back that up, little man? Whoa! Whoa! There, little lady. Um, where is it? Insurance letter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You increased the yeah. premium on Lester's life we insurance. Yeah, we ourselves. GI insurance policies have a $10,000 payout. It was Leroy's Woo. idea. Lester lived on the edge. He was always getting into fights, crap games, mm. pinochle, you name it. Turns out it was good advice. It speaks to motive and premeditation, Lorna. Mm -hmm. You're forgetting the hit and run, detective. You and Mr. Sabo have an interesting day. I'm sure we will, officer. Now, if you could both just leave. We're leaving, ma'am. Sorry for your loss. I can see what a tough time you're having with all this. Huh. I don't... I... I... Where's one of those game wells? I want to call the coroner. Here we go. I want to call the coroner and see what he says about that uh, wound on his chest. That This doesn't seem right to me. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, detective? Messages for me, please. Just one detective from the coroner. Nice. Message reads, Phelps, see me at Central Morgue immediately. Results of the Patterson autopsy. Thank you. Huh. It's me. The cop from the newspaper. Curious, uh, and curious, uh. Let's go find out, then. I just don't know how to dance to beep off. Let's go so let's see what the coroner has to say. Oh, at least full of a bunch of drama queens. All right, let's see what the corner has to say. Two peanuts are walking down the street. One was assaulted. We can put the driver in front of a judge in less than a week. You'd be making a big mistake. Hmm. Run that by me again. The victim was dead before the car hit him. Wow. Two puncture wounds to the right side of the thorax. Nah. Second yep. puncture reached his heart. Yep. You're kidding me. Been doing this job 23 years, son. Bloody knife. No one's ever laughed at one of my jobs. Bloody knife. He was stabbed to death? Long, sharp knife. Length of a bayonet. We found a knife in the alleyway. Where is it now? Was it bagged? By Patrolman Kaplan. Perfect. I'll get you a definite match. Jesus, we got him. Murder one. We were right there, and they tried to stare us down. Now they'll both get the gas chamber. We have the knife, we have the coroner's report, and I bet we could roll Sabo as a witness. Let's bring her in. Sabo is a witness? Sabo is probably one of the perpetrators, Playa. What the hell? Psh. Playa, please. Sabo wanted some, some of that little oochie coochie and said, I'll kill for you. Here. Damn, that trolley is loud. Yep. We've spoken to the coroner, Mrs. Patterson. He confirmed your husband's cause of death. We'd like you to come downtown and answer some questions. Hmm. It wasn't me. It was Leroy's idea. Leroy stabbed oh, him. I had nothing wow. to do with it. Where's Leroy now? She sang like He's in it the bedroom. Was nothing, bro. You're very good, Lorna. Put the Mariah gun down. Carey. Leroy, if you do something stupid now, you don't stand a chance in front of the grand jury. I see you to give me up, sweetheart. Oh, they're whispering in my ear, telling me how he had to get rid of him. Oh. How good it could be. All oh, the money we could claim. 
all that planning, mm -hmm. how to get him into the street, how to make it look like an accident. For God's sake, you had all shut up. Bases covered, baby. I have nothing to do you with it. You think I'm gonna fry for you, He's Luna? A crazy man. Yep. Shoot him for God's sake. Well, oh, we got a runner. Sabo. We've got a runner. Get him. We got a runner. Thanks for stopping him, dick. Oh, what is he shooting at? Oh, whoa! Oh, yep, of course. Come on. You gotta run faster than that, player. Stop, stop or I will shoot. Stop or I will shoot. Got him. He turned around and shot at me. Wow. Wow. So, I give you a hit and run. You bring me back it's fraud, it's... conspiracy, and first-degree murder. This is wow. how a good detective operates, Phelps. You take nothing at face value. You keep digging and asking questions until you get to the truth. You got some sharp elbows on you, detective. I like that. Keep up the good work. Awesome. Yep. We got one question incorrect. That was my fault. I accidentally hit the wrong button. Um, but hey, awesome. We did great. We did great. That was definitely a marriage made in heaven. Um, if that's what you're into. But whatever. Uh, if you enjoyed this, hit the like. Hit the subscribe. You know, tell a friend. Leave a comment down below. That helps out. It helps me let, uh, help, you know, it lets me know what you think. And, uh, you know. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Love you. Bye.